Hello, this is Quick Skills, and today I have a video for Jesse. Jesse left a comment on one of my videos asking for me to play a 3D PlayStation 1 game, particularly Alien Resurrection, and see if I can actually get the controls, the joysticks, to work on this game. So I've loaded it up, and we're going to test it out. So here we have Alien Resurrection loaded up, and... I can move using the D-pad, which is not the issue here, but the moment I try to use the analog sticks, nothing happens on my controller. Now, if I play another game, particularly any other system that uses analog sticks, the issue is not with the controller, and that is because you have to enable the DualShock uh, feature within this console. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is use your hotkey command, and you're also going to push the button X. This is the top left button on my controller. When you push that, it's going to pull up this quick menu. When you have this quick menu open, you're going to go down to controls, and you're going to look for port 1 controls. Now, port 2 controls is going to affect player 2. Port 3 will affect player 3, 4, and 5, etc. But since this is a one-player game, we're only going to need to do this one time on port 1 controls. Once you've selected that, you're going to see device type, and you're going to switch that over to DualShock. Now, once you've done that, I want you to go all the way down here. This worked the second time without having to do this, but the first time I did it, the left joystick worked, but the right joystick didn't work. And so what I had to do is I had to go all the way down here, select this option using A, and then select the option that's already selected. I selected it again and then went down to the next one. And I went one by one all the way down, even though it was already selected where it needed to be, went all the way down, and that allowed both joysticks to work properly. I don't know what exactly that did, but if we look here, and you can take my word on it, I'm controlling this character by using the left joystick to move forward and the right joystick to look around. So hopefully, Jesse, that answers your question. This should work on every PS1 game. You're going to want to enable DualShock mode, just like you saw. And unfortunately, every time you restart the game, you're going to have to do this. And I've done it a few times now. It's second nature. It takes me less than a minute to go through and select the DualShock option. And if you don't have to tinker with those other buttons the second or third time, then that's it's going to be even quicker to, to solve this problem. Also, if you somehow came across this video and you have not purchased a retro console, but you've been thinking about buying it, I'm going to link a couple of consoles from the AliExpress shop where I purchased mine from, where you can actually buy one yourself. And I actually reviewed them on my channel. So if you want to see how they perform, go ahead, click the link, buy you yourself a retro console. I'm also going to link one that I haven't reviewed yet, but it is an improvement of the Super Console X4 Pro. It actually has quad chips, which is supposed to allow it to perform even better than the Super Console X4 Pro. But I have not reviewed it, but it should work better since the chip is a quad core versus a single chip. So anyways, this is Quick Skills. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about MULEC or uh, the Super Console devices, please drop a comment. I will get to them. But uh, hopefully you enjoy your device and have lots of gaming hours ahead of you.